some mics, get some mics, man. Quit playing. Johnny has a magic trick. I have a magic trick, all right? Obviously, I got all the tricks. Go ahead and put your hand on like this. This is your yard, all right? Now, one day you want to have a house. Tell me where you want your house. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make a mark and tell me if you <gasps> It's okay, it's just a pinch. Oh, I'm sorry. Geez. I know, I'm sorry. Would yes. you like a playground? Yeah. Tell me where the playground goes. Right in the middle. Okay, right there. Mm, playground and right then, there, nice. Uh, do you want a hot tub or a pool? Hot tub. Okay, where? <laughs> <laughs> Last week, we found out that he is, in fact, returning to action. December 15th, on zone against Andre August. Andre August. Andre August. Andre August. Does this fight finally make him a legitimate fighter? He's taking the risk. He's getting in the ring. He can get knocked out. Jake is in a spot where he could potentially lose. And now he's just going to go fight a pro boxer that no one really heard of. Why Andre August? No idea who this guy is. Andre August. Who? 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 Where are you, a f***ing owl? It's Andre August, that's who? Shut the f*** up! The switch up is crazy, from fight a real boxer, fight a real boxer, to who is this guy? What is he doing this for? Make up your mind, y'all! But, you wanna know who I'm doing it for? Me, my experience, to become world champion and doing it in front of everybody's eyeballs. Treating myself like a typical boxing prospect would do. And not that I should even give you little peons some answers, but here's some stats for you. Pound for pound, the great Terrence Crawford fought a nine and 14 opponent in his ninth fight. Canelo Alvarez fought an O oh and one opponent in his ninth fight. And Gervonta Davis fought an opponent that had 31 losses in his ninth fight. Yes, you heard that right. For y'all to still be criticizing me, it just shows your own insecurities and that you are a hater tweeting off of your mom's Wi-Fi. And if it's not your mom's, I know for sure you split that bill with a roommate. <laughs> That's crazy. But with that said, Terrence, Canelo, and Gervonta didn't have the world watching them in their ninth fights. However, I do. So, therefore, I am making an exciting fight. A fight that's really 50-50 against a 10-in-1 pro boxer who's been doing this their whole life. More knockouts than me, more experience than me. A three-time Golden Glove champion in the amateurs. Jake, you, you think it's 50-50, but actually, according to the numbers, he's a better boxer than you. Shit. Bring it on, baby. Not to mention, Mr. August Andre is on a seven-fight win streak. This guy is a real dog. December 15th, it goes down in Orlando at the Caribe Royale Resort, brought to you by Celsius Essential Energy Drink. And I want y'all to be there. The ticket link will be in the description. I gotta tell you, somebody's getting knocked out. I mean, look at this guy's power. And y'all have seen my knockouts. This is gonna be the biggest fight in Orlando history, and there's an amazing undercard fight. MVP Shadeja, the sweet Terminator Green, goes up against Franchon Cruz de Zern for the WBC Super Middleweight World Championship title, marking yet another massive women's fight for the MVP family as we look to grow equity across the sport. And I can assure you, Mr. August is not coming to play games. This man is ripped, in shape, and hungry. This is his opportunity that he's been waiting for his entire life as a boxer to cement his legacy in the history books and to make a lot of money stopping me. However, if you think I'm backing down and not ready for a fight, you are wrong. I promise you, I'm going to end this man. His name may be August. <laughs> his name may be August, but I'm gonna leave him. <clears throat> Sorry, take a fuck. His name may be August, but I promise I will leave this man as cold as December. That phrase is trademark, copyright, incorporated, all rights, reserved, patent, many by Problem Child Incorporation, protected by the DMCA Digital Millennium Copyright Act 2023. Thank you. <clears throat> and it is available exclusively on the zone. So go to thezone.com right now to get this fight for free as a part of your subscription. Be there Friday, December 15th. Let's go. For free? The fight's free? If you have the zone. Yeah, all right. Yo, Jasper, could you just say yeah every 10 seconds in the video?
video. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um. All right, so. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> So we just got done with a five mile run. Well, me, not not him. No, I got done with the two. And uh, we just wanted to give you guys a little house update because there's a lot of construction and fun things going on at the house. And we know it's been a while since we've updated you. What? <laughs> I'm just laughing because I think they're going to be expecting to see like a finished product. And we're about to show them a pile of rubble. Well, they want to be a part of the of the process, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. They yeah. want to see the different steps that are they going on. They want to see the shit. They want to see when it's fucking done. Well, they're going to see that if they like, comment, and subscribe. And and we're in their algorithm oh yeah speaking of subscribe wait people actually don't know this but brandon found this feature out if you say subscribe on youtube the button now like glows subscribe and see how the button just glowed first of all I'll click it but does it work if they're already subscribed i don't think they'll see that but if you're not subscribed and you say subscribe it glows so this sounds like a working. scam too that's no it you're a fucking idiot thanks so basically what's happening is a hot tub is going in there because this house didn't have a hot tub. Like, what the fuck? And a cold plunge. And then on the left, there's going to be a nice, like, fireplace sitting area. And then I have some art installation that's going to be going up behind that. But it's really dope because the hot tub is like this oxygenated water. And it sort of acts like a hyperbaric chamber. So it's really good for recovery. Over here is the hot tub. It's going to be like a waterfall. And it's going to flow all nice into here. Okay. Oh, this is actually my first time in it. It's like a pool. Wow, this is this is bigger than I thought. This is at least like a 30 person hot tub. So the art piece is gonna go. This is going behind here. I bought like a really expensive piece of art from this amazing artist. I'm gonna start collecting his stuff. It was really expensive. Stay tuned for that. Like how expensive? Uh like a million. A million? No, I didn't say that. So right here is going to be a nice fireplace conversation area. The fire just places itself and we're just going to talk about things like uh, who's going to win the presidential election and stuff like that. And uh, over there in the yard, we have a nice sauna that we have to build. Come over here, come over here. So this is like the biohacking recovery section of the house. So I have my ice bath here, which I use three times a day. But right here was a bunch of plants. However, this is where I'm gonna put the sauna. So we had them cemented. They're gonna put tiles over this. Basically, I'll- you guys make sure you subscribe, please? Basically, I'll come in here, open the door, go in the sauna, and then once I'm steaming hot, come out right into the ice bath. Over here, you're probably wondering what's going on. Jake, what the heck is going on here? Let me tell you, hold for playing. So I'm extending the main living room area. So this all used to be outdoor patio, but right now we're extending the house and adding like another three to 400 square feet of living space. But I didn't like that when you walked in the house, it just like ended and it didn't feel like this like big nice area and it was really weird to me and there's so much room out here so we didn't need any more outdoor seating or furniture space it's just these small like architectural things that a lot of architects or people who think they know what they're doing in this business really don't know shit about building houses and feng shui and making things nice so definitely had to come in and like fix a lot of these like small things <laughs> feng shui feng shui yeah go look at that put the definition up on there how you like that? You how couldn't you like, wait to say that shit. How, like, how you like them apples? And also, like, who the fuck builds a house like this and doesn't have a fucking hot tub? Like, yeah, no feng shui. That's bro. What? The point of life is to get rich, to buy a fucking hot tub and sit in it and drink fucking beers. That's literally why you make money. And you don't. People disgust me. So that's basically everything that's going on outside. On the inside, we're adding a fish tank. It's fucking bugs. We're adding a fish tank. Uh, I have a crazy bed, art pieces, all a bunch of stuff we're gonna show you guys in the upcoming videos. These candles are melting. I don't think that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not. Bad. It's a leaning candle, leaning tower of candle, leaning leaning pizza can, leaning tower of pizza candles, leaning pizza candles. That's Le okay. Leaning leaning candles of pizza in Italy, in France, wherever it is, Belgium. So uh, so yeah, so. We'll give you guys another update in a couple of weeks. Jake. Jake. Yo. He's here. The Detroit guy? Yeah, he's here. He's at the gym. <laughs> Let's go. Time for some self-defense. <laughs> have, they, have they seen his video? He's, he's viral. Yeah, we should show him. All right. So the Detroit guy is here. Here's some of his videos. We're going to collab. Give me your money, bitch. Give me your money. Granny. Detroit was well training. Don't move, you move us.
Whoa, 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 I thought you were gonna start well, take tripping out. Me <laughs> so the main question I came here to ask you today is what would you have done when I got jumped by Floyd Mayweather? So th these guys like tried to surround me from behind. See so that fence right there? Yeah. You gotta hit that fence. Seven those guys can go over that fence. That means you fight one at a time, it's come over the fence. <laughs> like climb up it? Yes, go right over the fence. <laughs> hit that fence. Half the guys are coming. Those that do come over, each one of those guys, you're gonna hit where it counts. These places where they don't want to be struck. First thing you do when they come to attack, you know right here to me. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, that. Oh. You, you grip the groin, you grip it. Grip the dick and dick off on the street. <laughs> Like on the street? Wait, 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 wait. Grab it. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> good, Grab it, don't stroke it. You're trying to hurt him. So I would suggest you uh, just uh, rip. <laughs> All right, so I got this shit on my head. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> you hurting position? Freeze! Yep, right here. Oh, <laughs> rip back. Oh, 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 oh. My fucking eyeball. Yeah. It was just a Celsius can. It was just a Celsius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celsius now belongs to me. <laughs> All right, so if I try. I already got out. Oh, okay. Yep. I already got the Celsius. Yep. Freeze! Oh, gone. <laughs> bro, fuck you, dog. You talk to my girl, bro. I think you talk. <laughs> We're not gonna let the Celsius out. Oh, yeah. Eyeball. Rip the eyeball out. <laughs> Remove the Celsius. No. Enjoy the Celsius. <laughs> right here, in the tracheal notch. This controls people ah. from the back without injury. It made me go. Ah. Put us up. Yep. Don't move. Freeze. Fuck! Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I just was caught off guard. <laughs> Alright, so the sage is set. He's running his Coming mouth. I'm, I'm casually drinking my Celsius. Step one, throw. Step Let's two. Go. Get your other Celsius from your six pack and begin to unload full auto. Hit! Get ready! Hit! That's it! Keep going! Keep going! Get ready! Hit! Next one! Next one! <laughs> so good. Hey, man, I oh, oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, bro, I just shook your head. Sorry, sorry, man. I just shook your fucking head. Not everything is self defense, oh, brother. Get some ice. Get some ice, man. Quit playing. That's probably what I would do if someone put a gun up to me. I would just say, like, please do it. Like, put me out of my misery. I hate being here. Please do it. They'd be scared now. Please, like, please, I fucking hate it here. Like, this shit sucks. That would probably scare them. Yeah. It scares me that I have those thoughts, you know? Yeah, well, that would scare the criminal. What criminals do is they automatically pull their gun out when they're really close to them. So they go here. They yeah. Don't, they don't want to be back here. And if they do, they close the gap. And they don't move, go, 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 turn around. Turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whether put this again on the ground. Go turn around and buy me dinner first, daddy. Right. That, that's a good comeback. That might work too. <laughs> a distraction. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Shit. If someone started doing shit to me, I would just make them think about it. They'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. If you was a mentor. That's right. That's right. And, then and then disarm. And then disarm. Like, yeah, never turn around. around. Turn. Like, okay, right. are you going to spank me? <laughs> Type, that shit. Might work. Type shit. Right. Type shit. Type right. shit. So I'm here with Commander Brown, getting ready for my December 15th bout to see if there's any special tactics that I can use in the ring. And he says he has a move called the KSI. Yes, the KSI. Now, this does not involve a dildo or anything. This is where you use your hands, use your open hand, and, and strike, or punch, and strike the elbow. Ah, the elbow. Ah! Wow! But it may not be that's legal. I don't think that's legal. May not be. Blame KSI for that. If uh, my, my finger is articulated out and pushed down, then drop Damn. it to the ground. You, you really, you couldn't control that? No. <laughs> fucking stop my finger. No, no, no. Just try to fucking see this up. Just like grabs, let's say they grab your finger, like your hand, they won't let go of being a tough guy like this. Just squeeze your hand. Uh -huh. yeah, you take your hand like this and go like that. So now you have control over their hand. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to resist so far. <laughs> he is resisting. <laughs> <laughs> he is resisting, by the way. Yeah, I want to see how big <laughs> this shit is. Yep, so you got to put his hand and block you like this. Uh -huh. Yep, right. Yep. You 
take your body like this. Damn! 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 damn. All right, all right. Not hitting though. All right, you got me. You got me. You got me. You got me. Damn. Fucking RKO'd you. All right, bro. This shit is for real. I agree. It looks fake, but it's not fake. Uh, it hurts terribly. Man, stay the fuck away. <laughs> But the next technique is even better. <laughs> this one hurts a thousand Grab times. Grab him by the dick! Let's <laughs> Grab him by the dick! Another one you can use is watch this. I want to get him off my client or wake my client, but I want to hit this guy. Just come right here. <laughs> oh. oh! That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming to Puerto Rico. That was thank fire, you, man. That was really cool. Cool. Come on, everybody know this guy. Blue was here, first class, bow, accommodations, bow, bow. awesome. Let's go. Not only is Puerto Rico beautiful, <laughs> the place he had to stay, it's beautiful, everything, man. This is the most organized ever. I've been around the world, and this is the most professional hey. organization, great accommodations, unbelievable. Thank you. Thank Amazing. you. Thanks for having us. No, we appreciate y'all. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you, man. Thank you. Let's okay. say they reach over the rope. Bro. Oh, shit, shit. You got him. <laughs> you fucking got him. <laughs>